Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about the SSD or HDD failures. After installing the Windows 11 24H2 August Patch Tuesday security update, which was KB5063878. And a quick recap, there have been reports during the rounds that SSDs particularly NVMe drives are disappearing and there's been severe slowdowns since that patch Tuesday update rolled out. Also reports of data loss and corruption. Now it does seem that there is appearing to be a possible explanation regarding the root cause. And this is after, as I've mentioned previously, Microsoft and the control maker Fasten um, had done numerous tests and had dismissed any link to the issue with Fasten saying that their testing included over 4,500 hours and showed no connection between the update and the failures. Now I'll leave the two videos for Microsoft dismissing the claims and Fasten dismissing the claims. I will um, leave those videos linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now it does seem that the actual culprit, so to speak, might not even be Windows and the Windows update at all. Where apparently now, a Chinese Facebook PC DIY enthusiast group named PC DIY has appeared to possibly discover the actual root cause of the issue. And it appears that the cause of the problem is pre-release versions of firmware that could possibly have been triggered by the Windows 11 updates that led to the problems. Now I'll leave this post in the description. You'll have to translate it um, into your own language of choice. And the PC DIY group admin Rose Lee has claimed that the issue was successfully verified by Fasten engineers in the labs and this gives credibility to the report with Lee saying from this post. PC DIY testing has revealed that the SSDs crashing and crashing due to the Windows 11 update were using pre-release, pre-final versions of the engineering firmware. Because all SSD manufacturers selling products using Fasten controllers purchase their products from the original manufacturer and ship them in bulk using mass production tools, the SSDs delivered to consumers are already using the official firmware. The official firmware has been thoroughly tested and verified and does not exhibit the anomalies often seen with engineering firmware. So basically to sum this all up, and I'll leave as mentioned this post if you want more info in the description. If you bought your SSD at retail, you likely have the stable firmware and nothing to worry about so you won't be experiencing these issues and if you are experiencing these issues you are advised to update the firmware for the ssd with obviously doing a full backup first just in case now this could be why microsoft and fasten did not find any problems during their testing as it is likely only retail ready products were tested by Microsoft and Fasten, although not officially confirmed. But that could be a possible reason. And something else Fasten has added is that the slowdown under heavy transfers isn't a Windows bug, but the SLC cache maxing out. And fixing that requires a secure erase as a simple Windows format won't obviously get the job done properly. So quite a lot going on here with these SSD issues. So this could be a possible reason why. And I did say that I would keep you guys posted. It's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft or Fasten respond to PCDIY and that post. And obviously if I get more information, I will let you guys know as obviously this is affecting some users and has gained quite a lot of interest. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.